Hello everyone, in this video, we will solve this interesting math question. Yes, it is an interesting math question because of that here is x tends to minus infinity. So let's start. Our question is limit x tends to minus infinity. And here is a square root x squared plus x and here is x plus 1. And our here is four option. Uh, our first option is 1 and here is option b is minus 1. Option C is minus infinity. Option D is positive infinity. And what is the right answer? So how to solve this question? So first of all, uh, if you want to solve this question, and first of all, I can see easily, here is x to the power 1. Here is exponent is 1 and highest exponent is 1. Yes. But in this case, I can see easily, easily, here is x square, so highest exponent is 2, no, because of that, here is square root, so I can say easily, square root x square, it is always x square, and here is root, so it will be half, then I can say 2 to cancel, and we are find out here is x, so I can say easily, here is exponent is also 1. So, if you want to solve this question, first of all, I can say easily, our question is limit x tends to minus infinity and here is square root x square plus x and here is x plus 1. Then, I can say easily, limit x tends to minus infinity and in this case, I can see easily here is x is common so x so x divide x it will be 1 plus 1 divide x it will be 1 over x yes then in this case I can say square root and here is x square is common so this divide this it will be 1 plus this divide this it will be x over x square yes then I can see easily here is limit x tends to negative infinity and here is square root x square times square root 1 plus x square divide x it will be 1 over x and in this case I can see easily here is x times 1 plus 1 over x yes then look here is square root x square so square root x square is equal to what so first of all uh, square root x square it will be x is it right no square root x square it is always modulus of x yes because of that look if you think square root 9 it is 3 right yes but if you think square root uh, minus 3 whole squared, so in this case you can see easily uh, it will be minus 3. Is it right? No. It is always modulus of minus 3. And we know that here is square root x square, it is always modulus of x. And at this moment, I can say here is look when x is positive this time I can say x always greater than or equal to 0 and when x is equal to minus when x is minus this time I can see silly x less than 0 yes so in this case look here is limit x tends to minus infinity. So in this case, I can say limit x tends to minus infinity and square root x squared, it will be minus x. Yes, it is minus x because of that here is x tends to minus infinity, not positive infinity. So if you think x tends to positive infinity, this time obviously it is positive x. And here is square root 1 plus 1 over x and I can say here is x times 1 plus 1 over x 
then I can say this x, this x cancel. So we'll find out limit x tends to minus infinity and here is minus square root 1 plus 1 over x and here is 1 plus 1 over x. Then I can simply at this moment look x tends to minus infinity. So 1 divide infinity it will be 0 and 1 divide infinity it will be 0. So 1 square root 1 it will be 1. I divide 1 it will be 1. So I can say it will be 1 when we are put the value of x is infinity and here is minus so it will be minus. So our final answer is minus 1. This is our final answer in this math question. So I can see easily uh, our final answer is B. This is our final answer in this math question.